Okay guys, part two. If you've just jumped straight to this video, I would advise you watch part one first to see how to remove the needles, the pointer motors, and the outer casing. Four catches on the metal cages on the two small displays. To remove the trip, you want to open it up slightly. Little catch on the shaft. You don't have to remove this, but it does get in the road. Little metal clamp holding the ribbon cable to the board. Okay, pull the catch back. Gently lever the screen out. So remove the old screen with hot air. Okay, now we will clean up the solder pads by reflowing the solder. Now it's best to do this from right to left. Now you need a nice steady hand to do this. Now 
Now sometimes after you've removed the original screen some of the pads are a little bit shy of solder so you need to add a little bit now best to use half mil solder or even smaller so you don't flood the pad you just want to put a tiny bit on all these pads seem to be okay so there's no reason for us to do that line up the new cable new cable and screen before you attach it clean the connections with a little bit flux now we want it not completely over the pads slightly to the right so we can see probably about a mil mil and a half of the pads still still showing on the board now we want to push the pads down and then solder the end of the pad. Now this melts the solder and connects the edge. Might be easier looking at the bottom one. Now you can see the first four pads are now stuck down. So we're going to do that with all of them. Once we have soldered the edges, we want to solder the complete pad. So what we're doing, heating the pad and pushing it down. ready to test <whistles> working Okay. All the LEDs working okay. Is a common problem for some of them to fail.
remember to put the little ribbon cable back onto the board. Little metal clamp to connect it. The plastic catches on the back. Also remember to remove the protective film. I'm going to leave it on at the minute to protect it, but do remember it just peels off. Right, now we've got the mount back on, we will test it again. Working perfect. The screen it looks a lot better with the mount on it, as the backlights are working as they should. So pretty happy with that. Now to rebuild. Okay guys, job complete, looking good, looking good as new, thanks for watching.